Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Corvette 7 AC from our Air Comfort collection. This is a large family tent which can sleep up to seven people across three bedrooms at the back. There's a really good sized sealed living space in here as well, plus this wet room area at the front. So with this tent being from our Air Comfort collection, you'll find that in place of traditional steel or fiberglass poles, we have an inflatable frame on here, which we will show you in detail on the outside. But what I do want to highlight is that we're using our power air tube system here. So that's where we have uh, bracer tubes in the front and at the back of this tent here, just to create maximum amounts of stability. So what we'll do is we'll just pop around to the side now and I'll talk you through some of the features of the frame. So what you'll find is that each tube all the way along this tent has its own air in and air out valve. So that allows for really quick and easy uh, inflation and deflation. So set up and take down of this tent is certainly very easy to do. What you'll find is uh, the valves are located towards the bottom of the tubes and they're quite clearly marked as well. So you can just see on here, it says air in. So this is of course where we would attach the pump. So in here is a one way valve. If I just take the cap off here, and it's just a really easy, simple way. We just pop the pump into this and we can just pump this uh, individual tube up. And it's the same process for each uh, tube and within a matter of seconds, the, uh, each individual tube will, will inflate pretty quickly. Um, so when it comes to taking the tent down, you then have, again, individual air out valves on each tube here as well. So quite clearly marked on there, air out just on there and underneath here is where the release valve is so to take the tent down it's just a case of opening that up and of course the tent will deflate nice and quickly allowing for easy takedown. So the pump that we supply with the tent is just like this one here it's a two-way double action hand pump and um, so what that means is that on each stroke of the lever of the pump here you are inflating the tube so whether you pull up or push down it will inflate the tubes. The uh, pump has a pressure gauge on top here, so you can keep an eye on the pressure of the tent when you're inflating it. And we would recommend inflating this tent up to 7 PSI, which represents about 0.5 bar. So the material that we're using for our fly sheet here is our Outex 5000. This is a high quality taffeta polyester material, which has a hydrostatic head of 5000 millimeters. It's been fully PU coated on the inside and it does have fully taped seams throughout as well, given that that hydrostatic head of 5,000 mil, ensuring that it is completely waterproof, even on really, really heavy rainy days. So I also just want to highlight here that this fly sheet has been UV treated to ensure even better protection under the sun. In terms of features around the outside then, we also have our air effective uh, ventilation on this tent here. So that's where we have this real sort of streamlined and sleek uh, ventilation on the outside here but what you will find is just under here is we have a mesh ventilation panel so that's going to be great just to reduce the condensation within the tent and of course keep you a little bit cooler if it's a, if it's a little bit warmer outside if it does get too chilly these are easy to take away just simply by removing the velcro tabs like this and then pressing down on the side here so what we also have on here are our classic luminous outwell guy lines you can see them all the way around the tent here, so obviously a little bit brighter to hopefully stop you from tripping over them when it's, uh, when it's a little bit darker outside. We also then have our well-known and well-appreciated guy line retainers on this tent as well, so that's what this little uh, Velcro loop is for. So when you pack the tent down, you can wrap up the guy lines in your hand and pop them in there so that the next time you come to use the tent, they're nice and easily accessible. Something else I want to highlight then is the large windows that we have all the way around this tent, which actually floods the inside with light, giving you a good uh, spacious feel within the tent. But what I want to highlight is that all of these windows are actually tinted. So they serve two key functions, one of which is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun when you're in there. And secondly is, of course, to give you a lot better privacy when you're in the tent as well. Uh, around the front area of the tent, or the wet room area if you like, we have this mud valance which runs uh, around the sides here on both sides and that's just there to encourage any rainwater to run down and away from that inside area. Around the front here, what you will find is we have uh, a huge big front opening door on here that has a four-way zipper on it. So actually you can choose uh, how to open this door, whether it's from one side or whether it's from the other side, or you can actually open it as a stable door as well. Obviously we've just rolled it away at the moment. While I'm here as well though, I just want to highlight the shape of this tent. We do have a pretty unique shape to this tent here where we have a Gothic arch at the top. So you can see that it is actually just peaked 
And what that's going to do is, of course, increase uh, headspace within the tent um, and obviously give a little bit better stability as well. So the front area here, as, uh, as you can see, has a ground sheet, uh, which is already in place here. Now, this is a detachable ground sheet. So you don't have to necessarily have this ground sheet in place if you don't want, but it just toggles into place and it is bathtub in style. So it does come up around the edges, just reducing the, the draft in this front area here. <clears throat> but of course, it is completely waterproof, as you would expect, uh, with a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimetres. You can see that it also folds flat along the front here for easy access in and out of the tent. So if you have any push chairs or things like that, they're easy uh, to get in and out of this uh, point of the tent. What you will find though, is when you close this door over and you want a better sort of seal at the front of the door, then this will fold up and toggle into position as well. Just like I say, reducing the sort of draft and things like that at the front area of the tent. So this area is a really handy area to use if you're lucky enough for it to be a nice hot sunny day, then obviously you've got a good sort of open uh, fronted tent here so you can get a good amount of uh, shade in this area. Or of course, if it's a little bit more drizzly outside, then it gives you a good sheltered area, but still certainly feels like you're almost sort of outside at this point of the tent. So separating the sort of wet room area at the front here to the sealed living space here, we have this large dividing wall. Now you can see here obviously that we've just rolled it back halfway and there are some toggles on here just to allow you to do that of course. Across the top there is a zip though that goes all the way across to the other side so you can open this up completely to create one really large uh, living space within the tent. The dividing wall also features two large mesh ventilation panels on here as well. So you can just see these here, um, but we do have curtains on these, so these can be zipped up to create a kind of more warmer and cosier feel within the living space if it does get that little bit too chilly. Of course, when the door is fully zipped closed, there is another one on this side as well. So there are two large mesh panels. So then at this area here, what we have is a really good sized uh, sealed living space in here. So certainly plenty of room for tables and chairs and furniture and things like that. As I say, it is a completely sealed area as well. So there is a ground sheet from front to back and side to side within this area that actually comes up at the edges. So it is a bathtub style. So again, it's going to stop any drafts from coming into this area. It will keep out things like dirt, dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs in here as well. Uh, the ground sheet is exactly the same material as what we use in the front here, so it's a good quality double coated polyethylene material which has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 mil. And here you can just see around the edges what I was talking about with it being a bathtub style. So as I say then, uh, from the outside you can see that this tent had the gothic arch shape and I just want to highlight just how much space there is in here. I'm quite tall, at about 195 centimetres in height and you can see above me here there's lots and lots of space. So. As I say, large windows all the way around us as well also accentuates that sort of feeling of space. But if you do want a little bit more privacy within uh, this area or um, if you want less light coming in, then each window has its own curtain, which we just have rolled away at the moment down at the bottom here. The windows also have toggle points just halfway up here. So what you can do is you can take that curtain halfway up the window if you want, like I say, just giving a little bit more privacy or keeping out a little bit of light, or of course they can be fully closed as well. So just above our light here, you will also see that this is the mesh ventilation panel uh, that I mentioned, which corresponds to our aeroffective uh, ventilation on the outside of the tent. We then also have a lantern hanging point in the middle of the tent, so in a really good central location. And then both uh, ways from here, we actually have cable tidies, which will run all the way down to where you'll find a cable entry point just down here. So what this allows for is to be able to zip this open and bring cables into the tent, uh, but keeping this door sealed if you need to. And there is one on the opposite side here as well. So obviously you can see here that there is a side entrance on this side and there is a side entrance towards the other side as well. Both of the side doors have mesh doors, uh, which we just have rolled away at the moment. But what that allows for is fantastic ventilation through flow ventilation in here because you can have both mesh doors down. So as I say, lots of ventilation, but again, hopefully keeping out those unwanted bugs as well. Towards the back of the tent is where the bedrooms are located. And as I mentioned earlier on, this tent can sleep up to seven people. Um, what I want to highlight here is that these bedrooms actually come pre-attached. So that's a job that you don't need to worry about. They're already in place, so one less thing for you to do. Features-wise, we have some handy storage pockets on the outside. 
Uh, each of the bedroom doors has a, a ventilation panel on here as well, just to keep the bedrooms kind of cooler and more comfortable. And we also have more storage pockets down this side on here as well. So these bedrooms are our Outwell master bedrooms. So what that actually means is that these are much deeper than standard uh, bedroom sizes. I think the industry standard was around about 215 centimetres and these are actually 250 centimetres deep. So what that allows for, you can see here, we have a large um, inflatable bed in here and there's still certainly plenty of space around this to be able to actually stand and get dressed or undressed before or after bed. You'll also then see across the back we have large ventilation panels which again correspond to outside panels on the tent. At the top along here hopefully you can see that we have a handy uh, gear sort of hanging rope towards here. We're also then using our night sky ceiling within these bedrooms as well so if you're camping in those long summer days and the sun comes up nice and early hopefully this will keep you in bed and asleep a little bit longer and of course the sun doesn't set till quite late as well so just darkens the bedrooms that little bit allowing for a good night's sleep as well. So these bedrooms can all be divided as we have here. So there are three separate bedrooms or of course you can actually, uh, you can zip this one up the sides here and roll it to the top to create a bigger bedroom on this side. Or you can do the same on this side here, just zip this uh, piece of material open completely to create another large bedroom over here. Or of course you can have it as one huge bedroom all the way across the back. They also feature our universal inners, so we have a zip which runs down in between these two bedrooms here. So now we'll just show you how that works. So we have a few optional extras available for this tent that would include a fleece carpet for the living area, just like we have in here, just giving a bit more comfort underfoot. There's also a footprint available to go under the ground sheet of this tent when you're pitching it, so that will keep the ground sheet nice and clean and dry if it's wet and muddy on the ground. And there is also, of course, our universal side extension, which will fit onto this tent as well if you want even more outside living or storage space. So there you have it then, that's all of the features of our Corvette 7AC from our Air Comfort collection. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, this tent can be inflated using our Typhoon 12 volt compressor pump.